Welcome to Finn's hat crochet tutorial. And we're just gonna pretend this Korok is fern because I I don't think I have like any uh, Adventure Time plushies or anything like that. So this is gonna be super simple. We're not gonna be doing anything complex. Like we're not gonna do any ribbing for this part or ribbing around the face. All we're doing for this hat is like, you just need to know magic circle, double crochet, slip stitch, and that's pretty much it. And increasing, but I'll show you all of that. Now, honestly, for this hat, I think I did make the ears a little too long. And this time I'll sew it better so the ears are actually like this. Just because I'll be showing you how to do it doesn't mean you have to follow it exactly. So if you want your ears to be longer, do that. Or if you want them to be shorter, you know, you choose how you want to do it. I'll just be giving you basically a guideline. And I bought a whole new skein of yarn just for this tutorial. But let's get started. Now to get started, all you'll need is your yarn. This is what I'm using. Some scissors. We're using a 5 millimeter hook or an H hook, but if you'd like, you could use a 5.5 or even a 6, it's up to you. Some stitch markers, and if you don't have these type of stitch markers, there's also these, or you can just cut a piece from a different color yarn and use that, or use a bobby pin, just whatever you have, and then a darning needle to sew in our ends and sew in the ears. And this is optional, but some polyfill or some stuffing so that we could stuff the ears. Now with all that out the way, let's get started. So to start Finn's hat, we're just going to make a magic circle and we're going to double crochet 11 into the magic circle. And once you've done your 11, we're just going to pull on the tail to close. And from here, we're going to find our first double crochet, which is right here. It's a bit hard to see since it's all white, but right here, we're going to go above it and we're going to slip stitch into our first double crochet. Now we're going to chain two and we're going to increase in every stitch. So we should end up with 22 double crochet at the end. And an increase is just two double crochet in one stitch. And we're starting at this very first stitch where we slip stitch. So right at the beginning, two double crochet or an increase. Now, once we've finished our increases, again, we're going to find our first double crochet and we're going to slip stitch. Now, this first thing you're seeing right here, that's your chain two. That is not a double crochet. It does not count as one. So this is our chain two. This is our first double crochet. We're going to go above that, which is right here. And we're just going to go into that and slip stitch. Now we're going to chain two. And in this row, we'll do one double crochet in this first stitch and then an increase in the next. So one increase, one increase, repeat that and get back to the beginning. And when you finish this row, your last stitch should have been an increase. As usual, we're going to find our first double crochet. We're going to slip stitch and we're going to chain two. Now this pattern will be similar to the last. We'll do one double crochet, one double crochet, increase. So one, one, increase, and repeat that, get back to the beginning. Then again, when you finish this row, it'll end on an increase. Now we're going to slip stitch to close and chain two. Now from here, we'll do an increase in the beginning and then one double crochet in the next 10 stitches and then increase one double crochet in the next 10, and we're going to repeat that. So you can see here, I've done my increase in the beginning and then my 10 double crochet. Now we're going to do an increase right here. And then continue 10 double crochet, increase 10 double crochet, right? And when you finished, if you counted correctly, your last stitch should have been your 10 double crochet. So everything adds up and everything is even. Now again, we're going to slip stitch and we're going to chain two. And this row will be similar to the last. We'll do an increase in the beginning, then 11 double crochet, increase 11, increase 11, repeat, and then come back. And if you really don't like counting, there's a little trick that you can do. So to find your next increase, instead of counting, you can just look for the increase that was in the previous row. Now for this row, our next increase will be in the first double crochet of the increase of the previous row. Now I know that sounded like a lot, but when I get to this point, I'll show you how it makes sense. So I just did my 11 and I can see that my next increase is gonna be right here, this first double crochet of the increase of the previous row. And honestly, I didn't even have to count. I just counted just so, you know, like you guys can know. But if you decide to do this, then that means you do have to pay attention so that you're making sure you're not skipping any increases. So like our next increase will be right here first double crochet of the increase of the previous row. And you could see like when you're looking at it, it's easy to tell where the next increase is. So I just think personally, at least if you're not a beginner, this is a good way to get these beanies done faster. And again, once you finish this row, we're gonna slip stitch 
and chain two to start our next row. So we'll do increase 12, increase 12, repeat, slip stitch, chain two, and then our last row will be increase 13, increase 13, repeat that, slip stitch, chain two, and get back to me when you're there. Okay, so we've just finished our rows. Now you just need to try your hat on. We just need to make sure that when you put the hat on just like this, that it covers a good majority of the top of your head. So this is perfect for me. Ending at the 13 row, that was good for me. But if you still need to increase, like if it does not like go this far on your head, you already slip stitch and chain two. You're just going to do your increase in the beginning, then 14 double crochet increase, repeat, and then slip stitch and chain two, and then get back here. Make sure that it covers a good majority of your head because this way it'll make sure that the hat isn't like super, super loose, but it's not exactly form fitting either because we're not like making like a tight fitting balaclava or something, but this is just so it fits good on your head. So now once you're sure that everything is fitting, put it on so that where you still have the working yarn right here this is going to be like one end of like the opening. From here on, we're not just going to be crocheting around and around and around. We're going to start here. We're going to go around the back and then we're going to stop to where we need the opening to be. Grab your stitch marker, and then I think, I press it down flat too. I think for me, I'll put it probably right here. Yeah. So right, we've already done our chain two, so we can start this row. Now we're just gonna double crochet. So this is the front, and this is where I need to stop. So we're gonna double crochet all around the back till we get to our stitch marker. Then we're gonna try it on again, just to make sure that the placement is good. And we won't be increasing anymore, so just one double crochet in every stitch. Okay, I've just finished this first row, and this is one end. This is the other. I think this is a good gap for me. So yeah, it'll be like, the opening will be like this for me. Okay, so once you finish this row, we're just going to chain two. And you see this is our opening. So we're going to chain two, and we're going to turn. And now we're just going to keep working back around till we get to this point. We're going to chain two, turn, and just keep going back and forth and back and forth for about 10 rows and then we'll come back. Okay, I've just completed my 10 rows. Now we're gonna try this on just to see what it's looking like so far. Like you see, this is a really good opening for me, especially when we do the part that goes under. Now we're gonna connect these two, but if 10 rows is a little too long for you or a little too short, you know, add or do less. But like I said, we're gonna connect this whole part now. Now for this hat, when I did this bottom part, I had done this as like a separate panel and then attached it later at the end, but we're not going to do that this time. And also going across, I did 15 double crochet, but it was too big. So this time I'm thinking we're just going to do 12 double crochet. And also it matches up better because the space up here, I left out 12 double crochet for the opening. So to start, we're just going to chain 12 or chain your number. And then once you have your chain, you're going to want to make sure it's straight and we're going to slip stitch to the other side. So our chain is straight. We're going to slip stitch into this double crochet right over here. So I'm going to have the yarn like on this side and this is what we're looking like. And then right into the bottom right there. And we're just going to slip stitch. This is what we look like. Now we're just going to chain two. And keep working our double crochet around. Starting in this first stitch where we slip stitched right here. So that's our first double crochet. And like I said, we're just gonna keep double crocheting around. Now we're back to the chain and you need to make sure that yours are straight. Mine is looking a little wonky, but I'm gonna finesse it cause I am not doing this over. But you're just gonna double crochet into every chain until you get to this part. So since I did 12 chains, I should have 12 double crochet on this part. Okay, see, I made it work out. So once you do all your double crochet on your chain, we're just gonna do like we always do. We're gonna slip stitch into our first double crochet which is right up here then we're going to chain two and then we're just going to keep working the double crochet around and around and around and for this hat i only did five rows and i thought it was too short for me so i think i'll do six or seven so do your rows and then don't forget to try your hat on just to see how long or how short you want it and then come back when you're done and then remember once you get back to this part you're just going to slip stitch into this stitch right here chain two and then keep going around I've done seven rows and this is what it looks like i don't really like it i think it looks too long i think it looks like chain mail now if we were to do like ribbing for this part i think it would look good so i think i'm gonna take off one row because yeah i think this just looks entirely too big too long mm -mm. okay and this is six rows i think it looks a little better 
I don't know, it just looks like chainmail to me. I think I still may take off one row, but we'll see because on the other hat, I did five rows. So maybe five rows was a good number, but at the same time, I felt like five rows is too short. So I'll leave it at six for now, and then we're just gonna start on the ears now. So to start with his ears, we're gonna make a magic circle and we're gonna double crochet 10 into the magic circle. And you already know, once we do our 10, we're just gonna pull on the tail to close and we're gonna slip stitch into our first double crochet. And if you need to pull it apart, you could do so. So we're going right here. If you can see, it's like these two lines. We're going right in there. We're gonna slip stitch and chain two. And just like the beanie, we're gonna increase in every stitch, which is two double crochet in every stitch. So we should end up with 20 double crochet at the end of this row. Once you finish all your increases, once again, we're gonna slip stitch. Now remember, this is our chain two. We're going above it right into here. And then we're gonna chain two. And from here, we're gonna invisible double crochet around. Now, if you don't know how to do that, I'll show you. If you do know how to do that, you're just gonna invisible double crochet for about four to five rows. Don't forget to chain two and slip stitch and all that. How you start your invisible double crochet from our chain two, we're gonna insert our hook in our first chain, which is right here. So insert, we're gonna yarn over, we're gonna pull through. So this is acting like we've done a yarn over if we were to do like a regular double crochet. We're gonna find our first stitch, which is right here where we slip stitched. We're just gonna insert and then do a regular double crochet. So yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, right? Now to get your next invisible double crochet started, you see this line right here in the middle, this line right here, you're gonna insert your hook yarn over, pull through, and then do a regular double crochet. So just find your stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, right? I'll just keep going so you could see, cause you could see how the lines are starting to form, this horizontal line right here, right? So you're just gonna go in, yarn over, pull through, and then do your regular double crochet. Pull through two, pull through two. Find your line right here, yarn over, pull through, and then do your regular double crochet. Find your line, through. And hopefully this is starting to look a little easier to you and you can find your line easier. But we're just gonna do this around. And the reason we're doing this is that so when we stuff the ears, you won't be able to see the stuffing from the outside. But honestly, since the stuffing is white and the yarn is also white, it wouldn't even be as noticeable if we were to just do regular double crochet. But you know, you'd rather be safe than sorry. Then I'm just gonna do it one more time. So you could see the horizontal lines forming, right? Let me come a little closer. You see this line right here. This is what we're going into, right? So there's two, but we're just going in through that middle one. Yarn over, pull through. So just do that till you get back to the beginning. So we've just done our last invisible double crochet. Not a slip stitch. We're not gonna do a regular slip stitch. We're gonna go into this line like we've been, right? We're gonna yarn over, pull through. And I know there's two loops on our hook, that's fine. You're gonna find your first double crochet. It may be a little hard, but it's right here. And then you're gonna insert like this, yarn over, pull through. And then we're gonna pull through these two loops, just like this, all right? And I know it leaves a little gap, but honestly, once it's finished, it's really not gonna be that noticeable, right? So we've done our 10 double crochet in the beginning, our increase, and then our first invisible double crochet row. Now we're gonna chain two. And just how we started last time, we're gonna go into our first chain right here, yarn over, pull through, and then complete that invisible double crochet. We're gonna find our middle line, which is right here, yarn over, pull through, complete. We're just gonna keep doing that and before you stuff this ear, just make sure to go up into this hole and pull through your tail. 
so that you don't have to pull it in later when all the stuffing is already in there. So if you want, put your hat on. Let's see what it's looking like with just, honestly, yeah. I think four is better than five. No, do, do what you'd like or do whatever you think looks best. I stuffed it a bit too much. That's why it's looking so thick. So I'm gonna take some of that stuffing out, but we don't want the ear we don't want to sew the ear on like this. We need to sew it on while it's like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to double crochet only like from here to here, but I'm about to show you. Once you finish your fourth row or however many rows you're doing, we're just going to chain two and we're going to continue doing our invisible double crochet. But like I said, we want to sew the ear on so it's like this and it's not like slanted, right? So you're kind of just going to do trial and error where you're gonna do probably invisible double crochet from like the beginning to like maybe like around here or maybe till the middle and then you're gonna try it on your head so i did 11 invisible double crochet around so that when i put it on like this you see how we're gonna need to sew on this long part so that it could keep the ear just like going straight up i know it's a little slanted now it's just the way i'm holding it it's gonna make it a little easier for us to sew it on Whereas if we didn't do like this little flap area, we would just sew it on like that. And that's not how Finn's hat looks. So once you figure out how to get it on so that it's straight, you're gonna cut a long enough tail so that you could sew this on later. And then you're gonna do your second ear. And then once you do all that, you're gonna sew everything together and come back. So when you're doing this part of the second ear, you're gonna have to flip it. So what I mean by that is after you do your chain two, we've been working this way. So you're just gonna have to turn it and work it this way so that when you sew it, this part where we've been slip stitching isn't like on the front side, it's on the back side. Like I said, we've been working this way. You're gonna do your chain two and then go in your first chain, yarn over, pull through, and then turn. And then we're just gonna go in reverse. So when you flip it, this is what it'll look like. You can see the little lines, but honestly, when you sew it on, it's not really going to be that noticeable. It doesn't even really look too different from this part up here. But yeah, you just need to keep that in mind. So you see how this is where we've been slip stitching. This is where we've been slip stitching. You just want to make sure you have them on the same side so that the front will look like this, right? Nice and clean. So now you can sew everything together. Uh, ignore how I have to weave that in, but I think I'll leave it like this. I don't think I'll unravel it. I think I definitely need to go back and sew these on better. I've told y'all, when I have to sew something to make it even, oh, I do not really do that good of a job. Honestly, I, I think the first hat was better. Not saying that this looks horrible, but yeah, my sewing skills definitely need some improvement. But hopefully your guys' hat looks really good. And this is the first one. I wish I could like mix the way I did them both. Like how I did this part where it looks so seamless. It looks so cute. But whereas on this hat, you could see like, cause I did this middle panel separate. Like you see how it could be longer. This is a bit messy. I still need to weave that in on this hat too. I think the ears look a lot better, a lot cleaner, a lot neater. And I think I'll also go back so that, you know, they're kind of straight. Whereas instead of, you know, but then on these ears, I feel like I made them a little too long. But on this hat, I feel like they're the perfect height. If you guys haven't seen in my Jake um, hat tutorial, my first ever crochet hat was Finn's hat. It looks so bad. We're going to put it on because it's actually appropriate now since I did make remake Finn's hat. It's just so itchy. Oh my god, it looks so bad. This Now this I actually did ribbing on. This is like the first, mind you, since this is my first hat, this is like every new technique like ribbing increasing stuff like that it was like my first time first of all why is the ribbing slanted it is going this way like like it's just wow 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 mind you i freehanded the ears before i even knew what freehanding was the way it's just like sitting all limp to the side <laughs> so i've improved so much and i'm so proud of myself because the fact that we can go from this to this both well this wasn't entirely freehanded this was super super slay I also just realized I probably should have been wearing a blue shirt this whole time, but I don't really think that well. Because even though I'm great at crochet, I'm a little slow sometimes. So I got this, um, I got this a while ago, this sword um necklace thing i got it from spencer's super super cute but i never wear it but that's really it for me and my rambling i really hope that this tutorial was helpful for you guys and if you want you know you can like and subscribe and you know maybe maybe check out my tiktok if you want my instagram because my instagram's a little sad i can't even lie to you and as always if you have any questions just leave them in the comments or feel free to dm me on tiktok or instagram but that's really it so bye mm -hmm.